I just took the 140 in a trailer down the road to pick this thing up. It's my dad's other snowblower. Uh, my grandpa was given this thing in a pile of pieces for free because it's in pretty rough shape. Bearings are, bushings are gone, so it kind of rocks back and forth like this. This is me lightly pushing it like that. It's got some bad bushings. The muffler's stripped out or something. So it's about like that all the time. Um, we botched this up pretty good to make this work again. This is a kind of redneck repair. Um, the engine shroud like will not come off. Like all the screws are like stripped or rusted or whatever. And uh, I made the bottom pan out of a piece of steel. So that was missing. Uh, I don't know what horsepower this thing is. I really don't. I think it's a 10 horse. Uh, yeah. 1028. It's a Sears Craftsman. And it is old, it is worn out. It has not had an easy life, but nonetheless, it actually does work pretty good. So here's my dad's nice, the 1032 Bowens. That one runs good. It's the same engine. Except this one here, you can see, is nice and tight, taken care of a lot better. This thing's had a rough life, and it's a lot newer than this one is. This isn't. 87, 88 model. This is out of the 90s or 2000s. It works okay. I kind of like this feature. I don't know if it's going to work though. The, the chute control right here for making this do its thing. It feels like it's jammed up. This is working though. Amazingly. I just thought I'd show that. It does start very well. It does run very well. It looks kind of loud. <laughs> hey, it was a free snowblower, so it shows it, don't it? <laughs>